Hi, I'm Nick from CanaWeld, coming at you from our office in Vaughan, Ontario today. Uh, today's video is going to be about the Multiprocess 6001. So this is a 500 amp uh, heavy duty welding machine. If you're running at 460, it's got a 100% duty cycle, which means that you can run this thing hard around the clock. It's meant for production facilities, you know, big places where you're doing a lot of work on heavy duty stuff. Especially with 500 amps, you've got a lot of power to play with. So um, let's take a look at some of the features on this. So you can see here, like I mentioned, it's multi-process. Right here, we can do TIG, we can do arc gouging, we can do stick welding, we can do MIG with regular gas, or we can do MIG with CO2, which is gonna slightly change your parameters. We also have the ability to do two-step and four-step. We have crater control here for what we're doing our TIG. And we also have hard or soft arc force that we can make adjustments on as well. So today, we're going to be doing some MIG welding. So when we're doing MIG welding, let's move up here to our feeder. And when we're doing the MIG welding, up here is where we're going to control the voltage, and here is where we're going to control the wire speed. Now, before we get into the MIG welding, I want to show you guys this drive roll system because these are really nice and well made. So this is the all steel four roller drive roll system. You can see how it works here. Your wire is running through here. It runs through your two V grooves down here, and then you have your flat rollers on top. So these are a solid steel construction. They last a really long time. I find them very, very smooth. And uh, because it's a 500 amp machine, you can run some pretty heavy duty wire. Today we're only running 045, but you can go up to 1.6 or uh, slightly larger. So let's go ahead and close this up again. And just a reminder, uh, when you purchase this machine, it comes with all of the torches necessary to run it. It also comes with some spare drive rolls and all the various sizes. And it also includes a three year warranty. So as I mentioned, we're gonna do a little bit of MIG welding with it today. I got some uh, quarter inch thick stainless steel plate and we're running some stainless steel wire at 045. And let's see how this thing welds. Uh, now when I turn this thing on, it's gonna get a lot louder. So you'll have to bear with me, but I'm gonna raise my voice. And hopefully you guys can all hear me out there in YouTube land. All right. So I haven't had a ton of time to dial in this machine because I'm a little low on uh, a little low on scrap stainless steel, but I think I got it pretty close. So let's run a bead and let's see how it looks, and then we'll go from there. Got our ground set up. Let me get my gloves on. Sometimes with stainless steel it can be a little tricky. So hopefully this came out nice. Go ahead and chip the slag off. Okay, so the weld came out good, but you're going to be able to see when I get a bit closer that uh, I was dragging the back of the cup in the liquid pool. So it left some sort of like a scar on the top of it. So let's take a look to see what I'm talking about. So there it is. I don't know if you guys can see that scar all across the top. Like I said, that's from the back of the nozzle dragging along in the puddle. 
So I was a little too close. I could have maybe bumped up my wire speed, but all in all, very smooth. It feeds nicely, nice even power, good crisp arc. Uh, really nice machine to use. It's nice to have so much power to play with. Okay, so that is hot as heck. I can feel it hitting my face. Thanks a lot for watching today's video. Uh, we have lots of these in stock, so if you're interested in coming down and trying one out with me, I'll go out, I'll get some more steel, and uh, we can weld with it together. And who knows, maybe you'll fall in love with this particular machine. Uh, in the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We'd sure appreciate it. And don't forget, you can leave questions, comments, and concerns down below. We always love to get feedback from you guys. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next week.